Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I wanted to share my favorite shampoos that I have been using this year. Now you guys know I have a lot of shampoos, but the ones that I have here that I'm going to share with you, these are the ones that I pretty much grab all the time. I do rotate my um, shampoos. So I pretty much grab these all the time. Every time wash day come around, I'm grabbing one or the other, one or the other. And I find that these are, these are the ones that work for my hair. These are like my favorites and I wanted to share them with you. Now I do have two in my stash, two new ones that I have tried. So I'm going to share that with you, but you guys know that I love Alveda shampoos and I have been using them for a long time. So let's go ahead and get started. And all of, um, all of these shampoos that I have, they are um, silicone free, sulfate free, and they are like a gentle cleanse. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first three Alveda products that I do have here are these. Now all three of these, they do, they kind of like do something a little different. And so let's go ahead and start with the Brilliant. So the Brilliant here, I have been using, um, like I said, a long time. So this one here, it's more of like my reset without stripping my hair. It leaves my hair nice and soft. It does moisturize my hair. I'm able to pull my hair apart. It lathers nicely. It cleans nicely. And I love the shine on, on this um on this um, cleanser here. It leaves my hair nice and shiny without stripping. Now, um, I use this a lot when it comes to me, if I have like silicones in my hair, it does remove the silicones. And I love to do hot oil treatments on my hair. So when I do a hot oil treatment on my hair, I go in with the shampoo and it does not strip my hair. So love to do that. When I do do the hot um, oil treatment, I will go in like two times with um, this cleanser and my hair, it still doesn't feel stripped or anything. It feels nice and soft and it has like that moisture type feeling. So that's what this one does. You guys see I'm almost out. But I did order another one. Um, Alveda did have their Black Friday sale. So I do have another one of these. Yeah. So the next one is the Alveda Control Shampoo. This one right here, it smells amazing. I love the way it smells. It's like a cherry scent. Um, that's what it smells like. I think this whole um, collection with the burgundy, it smells like that cherry scent. But love this one because it does lather nicely, even though it is a creamy, it's a nice creamy shampoo. It lathers good. It cleans my hair. It gives my hair a nice shine. I'm able to pull my hair apart, kind of rub the um, shampoo through. It does not strip my hair. And I'm going to say for the... It says it's supposed to help um, protect like your color. It doesn't supposed to fade your color. Now, I think I noticed it a little bit. My, my color is not fading as fast, but um, it depends on how I'm washing my hair. But um, that's what this one's supposed to help um, do. It doesn't supposed to fade your color as fast. And it's supposed to t protect your hair too if you have, I guess, any kind of like chemicals or um or so i guess like the color on your hair so it's supposed to protect it that way um as well so love this one leaves it nice and soft i feel the moisture i do feel like um some kind of protection is in in the shampoo like to give me a little strengthening or so but more on the moisture side so love to do this i used to use this like every other every other um wash day or so that's when I um, use this one here I'll cleanse like one time with this and then I'll go in if I need to cleanse a second time I'll go in with a moisturizing shampoo now for my 
Next one, Alveda, this one right here, the smooth, um, smooth infusion one. This one is the moisturizing one the moisturizing one. So this one, it is a very loose consistency, but creamy. See how fast it, see how fast it came out, but very loose consistency. And it does lather um, good. It cleanses my hair nicely. It moisturizes it. And um, it also um, supposed to help with um, like, humidity or so that's what it's supposed to do but i like it because it cleans my hair leaves my hair nice and moisturized and i can pair this um this shampoo here like with my if i wanted to use it with these two or if i wanted to use it with this do one wash and then do, do this one and um i like to use it that way and sometimes i will use this one here I consider this one more of a a really gentle cleanse because um, I can use this one like daily if I want to, which I don't shampoo my hair daily. I usually shampoo my hair once a week or every other week. So every other week I might go in with this instead of a shampoo. I'll go in with this because it feels more like a cleansing cold wash but it cleanse your hair without stripping and it just make your hair feel nice and moisturized so that's why i love this one here so those are my alveda ones i have um been enjoying i'm um, enjoying this um well for the long a long time i've been using these for a long time since the um since these two have came out i've been using this one i've been using forever I do have a video on my Alveda shampoo, so if you want to check that out, check that out. I think it's the shampoos and conditioners, so you can check that out. Okay, so let's go ahead to my next um, cleanser here. Now, this one here is a new one that I have been using this year, and it is the TGIN Moisture Rich Shampoo. Now, this one right here, it is silicone free. I did double check it. I didn't see any silicones because I know TGIN, they, they, some of their products do have silicones, but I didn't see any silicones in here. This one is a sulfate free. It's nice and gentle. It's moisturizing. When, it, when I cleanse my hair with it, my hair just feels soft and moisturized. It does lather up. It doesn't strip my hair. Um, I can go in, if I need to cleanse two times, I can go in two times with this and my hair still feels nice. It doesn't feel stripped or, um, or anything. And I like this, um, this one here because I can compare, I can pair this, um, TGIN shampoo with my Alveda, um, well, not this one, but I usually pair it with like this one here or I will pair it with like this so it pairs nicely with other shampoos if you need to like um go in for like a second cleanse and you don't want to use your the same shampoo you can use a this one right here because it's nice and moisturizing it is a clear um consistency here you can see I've been using it I love this one a little does go a long way and this one right here, you can get it on sale. It's reasonable. Everybody sells the TGIN, so this is a good one. Okay, so I do have another new shampoo, and I've been using this one, I'm gonna say for maybe about six months, and I like this one here. And it is the Design Essential Shampoo. This one right here, it is nice and moisturizing. It does cleanse my hair without stripping my hair. It is a sulfate-free and silicone-free um, cleanser. Now, I am able to pull my hair apart, and which that I love. I'm not sure about detangling it, but I like to, when I'm cleansing my hair, I like to pull my, my hair apart. That's the way I cleanse my hair. It does say it's for all hair types. Now this one here, I'm gonna say, 
I use this maybe like once a month. I do use this once a month. For some reason, I feel that it does have, it has the moisture, but for my hair, I feel like it has some kind of like strengthening properties in here. That's the way um, it feels when I, when I cleanse my hair, I feel more of the moisture, but just like a little bit of that strengthening that's, um, that's in here. And it does have, um, let me double check to make sure. It does have the hydrolyzed wheat protein, which it's pretty much at the bottom of the list. But for some reason, I feel that in my hair. So you guys know, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still afraid of like certain um, proteins. I mean, I know my hair needs the proteins and stuff, but I try to make sure I be careful when it comes to proteins for my hair because I've been through it and I hopefully I don't have to go through that again. But um, I like it. And like I said, I only use this one maybe like as needed once a month or so just to give my hair that moisture and protein balance and I feel this works nicely. I also like to use this one too when it comes to um, like um, like after I color my hair then I'll either go in with this here to wash to shampoo my hair or I will go in with um, this one because both of them they feel nice on my just feel nice on my hair but Yes, this is one of another one of the new ones that I have picked up. So we have one more shampoo and this one right here has been with me for a long time too as well. And this one, I'm going to say when my hair is not acting its best, when it needs some love, when my scalp feels like it's like, I don't usually have problems with my scalp, but if I have like that itch or itch mainly like back here, I'll have like that itch way back there in the back and I start itching. And I was like, okay, I need to go ahead and do a good reset, a good reset. And it is the Alveda Rosemary Mint shampoo here. This one here is a good reset. If you just want to reset your hair, remove it. It's a gentle shampoo, but it will reset and give you that squeaky clean hair. Yes. And it will remove anything, anything that's going on, I guess, with your scalp and um, remove all those um, oils or whatever that you have in your hair like I said it, it just resets your hair and I like it it cleans my hair um, I try to use it like I'll go in with like a good good cleanse for one time and then I'll see how my hair feels sometimes I will just that one time I'll get that squeakiness just that quick and then I'll just go in with my second wash I might go in with I might go in with like a moisturizing a moisturizing shampoo or so if I need it or I'll just go straight to my um, my deep conditioner just to put all of that back in and moisture or the moisture or protein balance up so it depends on what my hair feels like what my hair is telling me so but anyway, I know this is a good one to just reset everything when your hair, your combo, you know you have a favorite combo and you've been using it for a while and it's not acting right. I go in with this one right here and I, I try to use this one maybe like, like every other, like every other month just to reset my hair, um, remove silicones. If I do a um, hot oil treatment, it'll It'll remove that too as well. It does have like that peppermint and rosemary. Yeah, that rosemary mint in here. So it is peppermint in here too as well. Peppermint, rosemary. That's what's um, in this one. But yep, this resets everything. So these are all the shampoos right here that I have been using this year. I have been grab grabbing 
Um, I do use some of my other ones, but I've been grabbing these here the most because I feel that, I don't know, they work for me and I feel, I don't know, my hair feels good um, and everything. I'm going to mention one, I'm going to mention two more shampoos and um, because I just want to make sure I give you guys like a, a variety of like, like, like a, some of these here are pricey and then you have some that are more don't you know reasonable so i do want to give you like an option um of the ones that i have been liking too that's a little bit more on the reasonable side when it comes to cost so if you want like a good clarifying if you want to clarify your hair and you don't want your hair stripped i'm gonna say maybe try the kinky curly um shampoo come clean this is a good one i like this one too if i wanted to reset my hair and um it cleanses, it doesn't strip my hair but i'll use it like one time and then i'll go in with like a a moisturizing um a moisturizing shampoo if i need to or so so that's what i'll do with this one here um this one right here you, you can buy it everywhere everywhere so yeah this is a good one i still use it as you see a little does go a long way a little and if you have like hard water this is a good one it helps remove i guess that hard water or so from your hair i did um read that i didn't know this one cleanse like that this one helps remove that hard water um build up if you have um hard water or so and if your hair is dull, that's what it says. But it's supposed to be gentle. And I feel that it cleans good and I like it. Now I do have another one. I, I like this one. But every time I use it, it just bothers my eyes. It gets in my eyes. And I just, you, you guys know I'm already having a problem with this eye here. But this one right here, I have to use it. I have to be careful when I use it because I guess the mints or so that's in this one. But I like the, um, it's the Audra Beauty one. This one right here, I love this one. It cleanses nicely. It does not strip my hair. It's moisturizing. And it just, I just like the, the smell. My curls feel good. My hair is nice and shiny. It looks healthy. But for some reason, that mint, if you get just that little in your eyes, at least for me, it's like, that's it. <laughs> I can't use it no more. But I have to be careful when I use this one here. Um, I like have to really do my hair in like sections and then kind of rinse a little, don't you know, rinse that out or then do the other one. And I don't know. But this one right here, I love, I love this one here, but it's just... Don't let it get in your eyes. <laughs> Just don't let it get in your eyes. But anyway, guys, that is it for my shampoos. And I hope you like this video. I hope you found something that maybe you wanted to try if you're not already trying it. And if you are, just let me know which ones you like the best too as well. Anyway, guys, I will see you in my next one.